Hi, Carl here for Pro V TV. I'm at NAB 2019 on the Black Magic stand, talking to Richard Payne from Holden about their new lineup of 8K products. Okay, so Richard, we've got a new 8K range from Black Magic. This was a bit of a surprise. It was, wasn't it? Um, 8K, I mean, it's been on the radar before, obviously, yeah. um, because Black Magic have deck link cards that can do 8K ingest and output. But but now here they are in desktop products, which are oh, in, in rack mountable. Yeah. real life you know 8k has suddenly become a reality and with the black magic pricing uh, it's also quite reasonable as well okay so we'll talk through some of the advantages of 8k in, in a minute but before we do that let's just give the audience a little bit of a rundown as to each of the bits that are new sure. um, so so what are we what are we looking at well there's, there's sort of four new products really okay. so we start off with the new 8k atom constellation which is, it's quite nice. The Atom's previously been 2ME, 4ME, 1ME, TV studio. A constellation, you know, this is, it sounds a lot bigger, doesn't it? The constellation quite is quite a name, big thing. Now, yeah. the constellation is quite something. We've got 40 UHD inputs and 24 wow. outputs. So this is an astonishing vision mixer. Um, so the 40, uh, so forget about the 8K functionality, we've got a 40 channel uh, UHD mixer. But if you're using it in 8K mode, you're using quad 12 gig SDI. So okay. quad 12 gig SDI, so four four gig SDI, sorry, four 12 gig SDIs make make up one HD at up to 50 or 60 frames a second stream. So so this will give you 10 8K inputs or 40 UHD inputs. And it's even more impressively, it's got up-down cross-conversion on every channel. So you can mix UHD and 8K and even HD as a source. Um, you've also got very good quality chroma key, so it's probably the world's first 8K live chroma key as well. And you've got um, Fairlight audio, so very, very high-end audio mixing, all built into this one unit up here. So when, when you look around the back of this, so they've really packed those BNCs tightly into it. That's pretty impressive. It is, isn't it? I mean, it, it, you know, it, it costs a lot more than the existing Atom switches, but sure. it's still absolutely remarkable considering this is a 40-channel UHD mixer. Absolutely. For considering what it can do, it's still very, very well priced. That's right. And so below it, we've got the new Hyperdeck Extreme uh, HDR. So as it sounds, this, this is a Hyperdeck 8K Extreme HDR. It's an 8K recording deck recording and playback deck. Yep. So that's this side. We've actually got two units. This, this is a control panel which can control up to eight of the, uh, of the Hyperdex, or this control panel uses standard uh, RS-422 control, so it can control tape decks going back 40 years. And you're okay. able to use it. You can set up an edit, mark ins and outs. You know, you know, for my generation, you know, I was I was a tape op about 35 years ago. You know, working in um, in, a, in a MCR of, of edit suites, and everything was tape deck driven. And you'd sort of mark ins and outs and, and play across to other machines. Now this can control the old digi beta or beta cam decks, but also control hyperdex and even the other hyperdex in the Black Magic range. So the, the the full hyperdex studio, anything with 422 machine control. So so what this can do was, would, is allow you to dub legacy formats across to H.265, which it records onto uh, CFast cards or USB-C drives with SSD drives, um, or it will act as an 8K recorder and playback unit. Now, if you don't want 8K, it can record four channels of UHD and, and play them back. So if you wanted four channels of UHD synced for, say, a, a projection mapping, when you've got four 4K projectors, you want to play the same image on all of them, you could use this machine to, to supply all four with a 12 gig SDI, um, a 12 gig SDI feed. So it doesn't record them to separate files, but it records them to one 8K file, and each one is a sort of quad split, a sort of quarter. So it's just like when we originally went from HD to to UHD, and we're using a quad link system, so a quarter of the picture. So you could record four times HD equals UHD. Now we've got four UHD equals 8K. Yeah. It's just, it's a little bit it's simple maths, but it's still slightly mind blowing at the same time. Absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of advantages for 4K in a 1080p workflow. It's the same is going to be said for 8K. That's right. Exactly yeah. that. And now we've got 8K screens and 8K large sort of LED walls are becoming, you know, fairly commonplace. And, yeah. and you have to yeah. see this stuff. You have to see this resolution to believe it. It has an enormous impact seeing that great resolution Absolutely. when you're standing close up to these big screens. Yeah. 
So there's a couple of other things new, isn't there? There's this SSD dock down the bottom? That's right. It's a USB-C SSD dock, mm -hmm. and it means that you can also you can put a cache into these hyperdecks. You can add um, an M2 drive, a very fast media drive. So if you want to record 8K takes up large, large bit rates when you're using ProRes, and this will record 8K in ProRes, but it would be too fast for the SSDs. Sure. So by putting a cache into the hyperdeck, it, it caches onto these incredibly fast drives and then plays it off. I mean, okay. we're talking 19 minutes um, per terabyte Whoa. for 8K uh, in ProRes. But the decks can record H.265, which yep. is 10 bit 420 H.265 mode. So it's three different qualities of that. So it can record HD onto CFast cards and onto, onto this uh, multi SSD caddy drive system. But it's quite a good idea to put a media cache into your Hyperdex if you're going to do that. And that's, you can buy that media cache and put it in later on. You, know, you don't have to buy a Blackmagic one, it's a, it's a separate drive. But yes, that allows you to archive old content via SDI or UHD or, um, or even 8K contact straight onto SSD drives or CFast uh, or um, the USB-C SSD drives you can get which work with things like the Blackmagic Pocket Camera. And can one of the decks read multiple of these drives or is it like a one-to-one -one hardwired system? Uh, one of the decks, sorry, you can you can write from one of these to, you can have two of these, so okay. two of these USB-C drives. Two units or two, two drives? Two, two units. You can have all four, all four drives. They're seen as separate drives. They're not raided together, so they'll, they'll gotcha. be seen. So you can hot swap, so record from one and then hot swap straight on, onto another one as you go. And it will actually see eight drives worth of content so that you can... That's right. So you can, you can go into the setup and get into drives and, and decide exactly how that's organized. But most of the time, you, you might be happy writing to the CFast cards in the front or the USB-C round the back where you can have multiple drives. But it's, in a rack like this, it's a great use of, of, of this caddy. Yeah. It's and it's a nice format to store media on as well if you're playing out from it different is, sources. Yeah. So it's important to think this, this hyperdeck isn't just for 8K, yeah. it's multiple channels of UHD and also very, very good, very high-end HDR functionality as well. Did I see there was a new Terranex as well? That's right. There's a Terranex conversion, which, is, uh, which gives you quad, oh, here we go again, quad uh, UHD input, tw quad 12 gig. Uh, SDI input and gives you quad HDMI output because screens like the sharp screen here are, are using HDMI 2, not HDMI 2.1 yet. With HDMI 2.1, when it comes out, and very, very few things support that, you'll have one uh, HDMI for, for 8K, but at the moment, at the moment, you're using quad HDMI, so you know, one quarter of the screen per HDMI input, and that's giving us uh, sort of that. Interoperability, I believe, is world between between the old the old UHD and the new 8K world. Yeah. It's a brave new world. <laughs> brave new world. So yes, that's a Terranex box. But the the Terranex um, the Terranex SDI to HDMI 8K HDR yeah. also has lookup tables built into it. So you're you're able to even calibrate screens with it. So this okay. is a great way of of cross converting between a mixer like this which only has quad 12 gig SDI and the sort of screen technology which may have quad HDMI input. So, I mean, obviously 8K isn't really here yet. It's great that all these things can do it, it and I think it's the, here. well, yeah, I suppose it is here. <laughs> it is, yeah. um, not necessarily cameras, on the camera side yeah, of it though. Absolutely, There's, there is a very expensive Sharp camera. There's actually a Sharp 8K consumer camera. Yeah, the little um, mini one. That's right, if, if you've been up and had a look at that. So, yeah. so H, 8K world is expanding, but I mean, I see it at the moment as being something for very large LED walls for, oh, yeah. for these sort of live events. Um, but as I say, there's maybe 10 channels of 8K, but it's 40 channels of UHD. It's, it's a mixer which, you know, from any other manufacturer would cost, you know, five, ten times as much money. Absolutely. Um, so I, I think the amount of customers we're going to have that are going to be interested in 8K right now is probably relatively low. I think it will definitely yeah. progress as the years go on. Um, right now, though, there's an awful lot of people looking for 4K sort of mixing solutions and everything like this into a full 4K workflow. Is there any advantages of using these over the existing products just yes. in that normal 4K workflow? The, 
the 8K, the new ATOM constellation, this new 8K mixer, has got up, down and cross conversion on every channel, which makes it incredibly flexible. I love using these at trade shows because it doesn't matter what some numpty switches your camera to, it's always going to work when you plug it in. <laughs> this is this is a fantastic bit of technology and also it's got the very high-end chroma key which are only just starting to build into the other switches now. So, so yes, there's an advantage, the better chroma key, better audio mixing and up-down cross-conversion. And 40 inputs. <laughs> 40 <laughs> inputs, that's yeah. right. And you may not need 40 inputs and 24 outputs for, for, for every scenario, but this is a terribly future-proof vision mixer. And these Hyperdex just seem much easier to control than the previous ones, don't they? Especially when you pair them with one of these. Um, Grant Petty's done a, a Blackmagic video where he's showing how, how this control panel, which can control up to eight of the Hyperdex, can also be used with legacy equipment going back 40 years. So you've, you've got it with, with Betacam, H, uh, Betacam SR decks and this huge amount of different um, huge amount of different equipment going yeah. back over the years. So I can see these going into satellite trucks, into MCRs, you know, all up, down and across the country because it is a lovely, a lovely interface. You've even got a magnetic clutch. So you can feel when you're using this. This is something which was built into the very high-end tape decks, you know, over, over the last few years. And I, a very intuitive way of working with, with equipment. If you look on the back of this, you've got eight uh, RS-422 outputs, so you can have one deck, one controller, and eight decks. I think that magnetic clutch in particular, that's something people really need to physically get their hands on. You need on to get your hands on one, you need to play, play with it to find it. I think Blackmagic has announced to the world that it's moved up a notch to the yeah. sort of high-end broadcast, not just with the 8K, but with the design and the quality of this new kit. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Richard. No problem.